Hi, this is Russ Jeffers from MobileBone.com, and here I've got the HTC 7 Mozart. Uh, it's one of the first Windows Phone 7 phones from HTC. Uh, I'm just going to quickly show you around the device, uh, show you some of the hardware, uh, and then move on to the software and show you the uh, 8 megapixel camera and the sort of photos that it takes. Uh, there's also a full written review on the MobileBone website, so you can check that out after as well. Alright, so uh, first of all on the Mozart you can see we've got a rather large 3.7 inch capacitive touchscreen uh, that supports multi-touch pinch gestures and things like that. Beneath that, uh, under the same piece of glass that covers the screen, we've got these three touch sensitive keys. Uh, a back key, a windows menu key uh, and a search key. Uh, at the top of the display we've got the HTC logo uh, and under the sort of black bezel here we've got uh, an ambient light sensor and also uh, a proximity sensor. Uh, above that we've got the device's earpiece and there's sort of like a metallic grill uh, and also under there there's a, a notification LED so that will tell you of any missed calls or messages uh, it'll give a sort of flash intermittently uh, and also if your battery's low it'll flash red intermittently and also um, if you're charging the battery it'll light up red and then turn green once the battery's charged so that's all hidden away under the grill there uh, atop the handset we've got the power button which can be used to turn the device on and off and also turn the display on and off as well with a quick press uh, and next to that the 3.5mm headphone port so you can use any old headphones in this handset which is quite nice uh, the same hand, uh, headphones that you use in your, sort of your iPod or MP3 player uh, on the back of the handset we've got this 8 megapixel autofocus camera lens uh, and next to that we've got a Xenon flash so it's not an LED flash on the Mozart like it was on the Trophy which is quite a similar device uh, on this one we have 8 megapixel camera and a Xenon flash so perhaps uh, a bit better at photos but you can uh, read the full review uh, and see some actual shots that we took with the handset uh, over on this side of the handset you can see we've got a loudspeaker grill so that's just for sort of making uh, speakerphone hands free calls and also you can play music through it as well uh, it's actually pretty decent in terms of volume and quality for music um, but, but sort of not so great for uh, making calls with uh, I've got the HTC logo here, which is sort of a nice sort of chromed finish. Uh, and at the bottom here, you've got the Windows Phone logo, uh, and also I guess perhaps another speaker uh, microphone grill or something there. Some little holes. Uh, also got another microphone pin hole down the bottom there, and a little lanyard fixing, so you can fix a lanyard on the bottom of the handset. On the left side of the phone here, we've got the volume rocker. As you can see, another sort of chromed uh, piece of material there, so same as the uh, logo. Uh, and also we've got the micro USB port which is used for charging and data. On the right hand side we've just got again a little chrome button which is this time a two stage camera shutter button so you can press it sort of halfway to uh, focus on your subject and all the way to take the photo. Uh, you can also press and hold the button uh, from the normal main menu and that will actually open the camera application rather than you having to go and find it in the menu system. Uh, on the back here these pieces you can see it's sort of quite a designer look on the back. Uh, this piece is just plastic here I think, or actually sorry it's all part of the rest of the phones. It would be actually aluminium. This whole piece here and around the edges here is all uh, one piece of aluminium which is quite nice. Uh, and then these bits here are plastic at the top and bottom and there's sort of like a soft touch finish on them as well so it feels quite nice. Uh, to get into the battery you can just uh, slide this bottom bit upwards. You can see it just sort of clicks up uh, and there's some metal contacts in there so I guess the phone knows when it's attached and when it's not perhaps. Um, and then you've got the battery here. Uh, it's a 1300 milliamp hour battery, so not the biggest battery, but uh, I mean, it'll get you through a day in most instances. You see there's sort of this little uh, hinged catch here which you can open, uh, and then the battery will just slide straight out. So there we go, that's the battery. Uh, and then beneath that is the SIM card slot, so as you can see here, I've got my Vodafone SIM just in under there. Um, as with other Windows Phone 7 devices, there isn't actually a micro SD slot. So uh, you've just got the 8 gigabytes of uh, built-in storage memory uh, in this particular handset. So uh, I mean the handset sold as a music phone. I'm not sure if uh, all users would be able to get on all their music onto 8 gigabytes of storage, uh, especially with things like photos and video that they're actually taking with the phone as well, sharing that same storage. Um, but if you've only got sort of 4 gig of music, then it should be fine for you. Right. So I've now got the Mozart fired up, and here you've got the lock screen. You can see we can sort of slide up the wallpaper there just to unlock it uh, and you can see as well we've got a couple of notifications at the bottom so we've got a couple of email accounts set up um, both of these are email uh, icons so you can see we've got two new messages in one account uh, and three in the other and we also get icons for things like missed calls and missed SMS messages as well 
uh, and at the top here we've got the uh, Wi-Fi indicator, uh, the network uh, signal indicator and also the battery indicator too. Uh, and as we touch the screen you can see it sort of jumps to let you know that the way to unlock the phone is literally just to slide it up. So give it a slide uh, and this unlocks and gives us our home screen here. So it's the usual uh, Windows Phone 7 sort of scrolling tile based home screen. A few updates this time though, you can see the HTC uh, hub pane has now got uh, weather on it, so you've got live weather, uh, it's minus straight outside at the moment with snow, so I can confirm that's correct, and also you can see a few little uh, sort of app icons just beneath the uh, HTC logo there as well, which I think is uh, recently bought apps or something like that. Uh, I've also got the usual stocks and different things, you've got the uh, Xbox Live uh, tile as well with your little Xbox Live character popping up. Uh, and then things like this live tile here with various photos I've taken, it's just picked one uh, to use on that tile. So all the usual uh, same bits and pieces, you also get things like the status information, that's uh, one of the email accounts that has emails in it, and it's got three messages and I think my Hotmail's got two in at the top there. So it's all quite a nice looking uh, home screen, as you can see. Um, any further menu items that aren't in this screen you can just get to by tapping the arrow key, and then that just takes us straight through and shows you all the other things that uh, are available there. Uh, the main difference is between this handset and the Trophy because most of uh, the bits and pieces in the phones are the same, uh, the same processor, same amount of storage, uh, you know, in terms of size and weight as well, they're very similar, this and the Trophy. Um, the only real differences are the 8 megapixel camera on the back and the Xenon flash uh, and the fact that the Trophy has a slightly larger screen at 3.8 inches as opposed to the Mozart that we have here which is a, has got a 3.7 inch uh, capacitive touch screen. So there's very little difference between the two. This is the music handset but in reality uh, it's probably just as good as mu music as the Trophy. Uh, I can't see it being any better because it's got the same sound enhancement, uh, same Dolby Mobile and uh, the SRS wire enhancement. So as you can see there, Dolby Mobile and SRS. So uh, both handsets have that so I can't see why this would be any better at music. It has the same amount of storage as the trophy as well, and I can't see why it would be any worse at gaming. Uh, the trophy is said to be the gaming handset, uh, but isn't really any better at gaming than this particular handset either. So really, the only difference between the two that you should uh, work on is the camera on this one. Uh, is 8 megapixels and obviously has the Xenon flash, 